This is Dead Serious, a show about short horror stories worthy of discussion. I'm Dead Pallet, and I play real fighting games unlike Super Smash Brothers. Today we're going to be taking a look at another story on the Ge Geo Shia Creepypasta Wikia. Last time we looked at these, it was Mulan Extended Edition. I was unclear whether I was being trolled or not. This looks like a site where troll pastas are cordoned off on their own section, so I'm I'm not sure what's going on here. It seems like there is a decent amount of upkeep as to the stories and editing them, so I think that these are genuine efforts at sincere stories, and uh, we're going to be taking a look at one perhaps about a haunted video game. This is entitled Super Smash Bros. Melee Hidaka. That's H-H-I-D-A-K-A. -A, Hidaka. So let's see what this story has in store for us. You all know that game for the GameCube called Super Smash Bros. Melee, right? The fighting game with all of the Nintendo characters, Mario, Fox, Kirby, Ganondorf, etc. Well, you can find all of the scripts, models, textures, and files in the game if you access the files using a program. Well, presumably that is true, but I would like to know what program that is. I mean, I'm not tech savvy, so telling me what program that is would probably lend credence to like, oh, that program, I don't know what that is, so I'm going to trust you on that, or Google it, um, or... Uh, if you're a true chat, bang it. Um, also, the the I'm I'm trying to figure out how to describe this. The phrasing on that is a little weird because if we're going to be reading a story called Super Smash Bros. Melee Hidaka, I would assume that we know what Super Smash Bros. is. You know, uh, one script called Char dot txt that's like character um, contains all of the variables and move sets for the in-game characters. Each character has a TXT file that refers to their models, too, in a folder called char. Now, if I didn't know any better, I would say that they are getting their information about programming from Mugen and their TXT files. I'm not sure that Super Smash Bros. runs on the same set of codes uh, and in the same manner. In order to add my texture hack, I need I needed to copy all of the files to my computer. While copying, I noticed there were 26 items, but I was sure there were only 25 characters. To make sure, I explored the file names. All of the normal files were there. There was C Falcon, Falcon, D Kong. Then I came across H Hidaka. Okay, so I guess it's H Hidaka. So I know that this is a thing that people do where they go through the game and explore the files. I know that this is a thing because they edit the games to be more balanced because they, these games have never received balance patches. So this is a thing that the hardcore enthusiasts of Super Smash Bros. have done and received cease and desist letters for from Nintendo, unfortunately. Now, if only they would patch their own goddamn game, maybe their fans wouldn't feel it necessary to do that. But then again, their Smash Brothers fans are basically not human, so who cares? I opened the file and noticed his variable number happened to be 11912121528. I assume they must have randomly generated the numbers, otherwise I'd have been otherwise it'd have been between 1 and 26. His texture file was located in uh, the E drive SSMB, so Super Smash Bros. Melee, textures, care, model texture, slash H Hidaka. Okay, so there is a character. We are assuming that this character is male. I, I don't know about you, but Hidaka kind of sounds like a uh, feminine name. And then we have a picture here um, on the site of what looks like a crack adult anime character who is pretty clearly female um anyway let's 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 press on I'm, I'm not sure there's too much to say there the content of the folder was quite disturbing what i saw was a png file of a japanese girl dressed like a hooker she had been stabbed and mutilated to the extreme especially in her at her stomach it was cut clean it was called hidaka.png and was the main model texture. 
So doing a quick Bing search, I wanted to see whether PNG files are actually used in video game development, and it looks like sometimes they are, but I don't know the full details on whether Super Smash Bros. Melee would have reason to have a PNG file in there, um, and to what extent that would be prevalent. Uh, if anyone has any programming knowledge and could give me an answer one way or the other, that'd be great. I absolutely couldn't believe my eyes. Why the hell would this be on the disc? I eventually remembered that I had bought this used from a flea market. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had no... It had no instruction booklet. It was replaced with... Replaced by what I could only... What I thought might have been cheat codes or a walkthrough written on a sheet of printer paper. I got the, out the case and unfolded the cheat code. Instead of cheats, I saw some Japanese writing. I could only... Tr I couldn't translate it at the time, so I went back to the computer. I checked the script and saw that H. Hidaka was a hidden character. To unlock him, you had to, from what I understood, KO the purple-colored peach four times in a row without taking damage while playing Ganondorf. Alright, so here we have a the, the, an actual image of the Smash Brothers box with the printer paper with the Japanese writing on it, and it says... The message that came from my strange hacked version of SSM uh, BM. So, you know, actually translating something from Japanese into English with Japanese characters is quite a labor. You have to find those characters or have a Japanese keyboard or something along those lines. And that becomes quite the labor. Um, and here, I guess we're just skipping through all of that labor, even though we went into detail about you know, where the files were and all of that kind of thing. Maybe they're just, you know, saving us some time, but if they are, they should say something along the lines of, you know, just saving you some time about, you know, all the effort that I went through to translate this. But this is kind of a funny thing. Would you be able to um, verify that that's a thing on, you know, the the myriad of Super Smash Brothers? Uh, walk through places on the internet and people who discuss it competitively. I mean, this is a very widely played competitive fighting... Well, it's not a competitive fighting game. The people who play it are idiots. But this is a game that people think is a competitive fighting game. Um, man, people are going to get mad at my stupid shit talk. The... the um, y You know, this is another character in the game. Wouldn't you think that people who play this competitively would want to know about that character and have it unlocked at tournaments? And I, I love this, just the the silly specificity to wit, how you unlock them by uh, KOing Purple Colored Peach four times without taking any damage while playing Ganondorf. Um, that's a highly specific thing, uh, and doesn't seem to have any logic to it as as to why that would unlock the character. Anyway, I found it odd, but ended up doing it. After KOing Peach for the fourth time, I went to the new character screen. Instead of a battle, it showed a video of a Japanese woman whom who murmured things in Japanese. A knife was in her hand. Is this Hisako? Is this just like <laughs> Hisako creeps, haunts her way into the battle from Killer Instinct or something? Uh, because uh, my parents were home, I quickly turned the volume down and waited. I didn't... Hmm, why would you do that? Maybe, you know, Christian household? You're not allowed to play as haunted Japanese characters in your hacked version of Super Smash Bros. Uh, while, while you're in your parents' Christian Minecraft server? I did not dare look full on, but I did peek every now and then. It went on for four minutes until the sound of a gunshot rang out and the woman's head jerked back. Then it cut to black. It displayed two things on the screen. Hiroki Hidaka, Hidaka's taste for blood shall be quenched and you've gotten the HH trophy. I looked at the, in the trophies but found there wasn't any actual trophy displayed. The description was still there though. It said, finding this was your mistake. So here is is where all of the haunted gaming things go wrong. I love that the the term haunted and hacked are kind of used interchangeably. We've already had the term hacked show up. Uh, I guess you're hacking a game to put a haunt in, haunting into the game is the idea, but it always ends up being something where the player is being threatened 
and it just doesn't make any goddamn sense. But there, there's where we are. Um, at this point, my GameCube restarted itself and went to the normal SSMB menu. There, BM. Oh my god. There wasn't any music or sound now that I think of, uh, think about it, but I began a match. I, I know you would immediately notice that there's no sound. Um, the, the sounds in Super Smash Brothers are very iconic. I chose the thumbnail-less Hiroki Hidaka and pitted myself against Kirby. Cornea was the stage. Corneria. Corneria was the stage. Nothing happened for a moment, but text popped up on the screen that said, Finding this was your mistake. My finger immediately went for the power button. So we have the mechanics of Ringu, of the ring, where you find hidden media, and then that media allow, like, puts you into danger, uh, cause we're, we're seeing, finding this was your mistake in all caps. And if that's the case, I think you have to look at what made Ringu interesting. Um, some people don't even like Ringu, but for the people like myself who do, there was a whole mystery that unfolded where th- there was all of this cryptic imagery and information being jammed onto that tape, and then the characters, no matter what incarnation it is, every incarnation understood this, uh, you know, to varying degrees, but they all got it. They put these messages on the tape, and then you have to decipher and figure out, you know, what happened to maybe be able to save myself, and the people who weren't curious didn't. And that's kind of the interesting thing with what I would call maybe the obscene um, haunted media trope, where the idea of just consuming something is potentially dangerous, that this has dangerous ideas and, oh my god, you're going to die. But then ultimately, the moral of the story is that you investigate and then it becomes not dangerous, that that information makes it okay. Uh, so their finger immediately went for the power button. Uh, let's see what happened from there. I must have pressed reset instead, as the game didn't shut off. I could hear the disc spinning rapidly, as if trying to play Crisis 2 on a laptop. The TV started displaying the same Japanese woman with a knife in her eye, but instead it was a still image. There was a caption that said, Play as Hidaka, and this could be you. Okay, so before, finding this character was a mistake, but now, playing them is the mistake. This is important. We need to know which one it is. Is it playing them or finding them? And why is Hidaka in this game? Where did Hidaka come from? Uh, we, we aren't given any kind of clue as to this. Um, you know, whether or not this is a character from another property, something that was cut out. I don't think, you know, besides the white glove or whatever, I don't think there are any characters in Super Smash Brothers that are original. Maybe the announcer? I don't know. <laughs> uh, but it's funny here. We get some, Interesting. Whoop, shit. There goes my pop filter. Whoop. And we're good again. There, there's this, this interesting bit of creative writing there about the disc spinning like they're trying to play Crisis 2 on a laptop. That's a nice line. Um, the, the gaslighting of yourself of, I pressed reset and I must have pressed reset instead because the game didn't turn off. So it could be haunted or our narrator could just be an idiot and they're kind of building in that doubt. That's a cool detail. But uh let's let's finish out this with the last paragraph. I found I later found out that the Japanese text on the paper came in the game's case translated to the exact same words and was even signed by Hidaka. It turns out he's a Japanese serial killer who was executed on December 25th, 2006. That was the same Christmas I bought the game. Okay, well, I have 50 thoughts. One, um, you bought this game for yourself on Christmas. So you're playing this on Christmas, but you're not mentioning... You bought this from a flea market on Christmas, but you're not mentioning anything Christmas-related in this story. Interesting. Um, we also have a English, you know, a, a U.S. North American release copy of Super Smash Brothers that, I don't know, I guess was owned by a Japanese serial killer who had probably never been to America and probably didn't play video games. We also have to contend with the fact that earlier in the story, they translated the Japanese and the Japanese said, this is how you unlock 
uh, H- H- Hidaka in the game by KOing Peach four times as Ganondorf without taking damage. But now it's telling us that uh, it says play as Hidaka and this could be you. But I did uh, do a Bing search for Hiroki, H- Hiroki Hidaka and Hiro Aki Hidaka, so different name. Uh, is a Japanese serial killer who was, again, executed December 5th, uh, uh, 25th, uh, 2006. Hidaki was born in the Miyazaki Prefecture. He originally was an excellent student, but failed to enter University of Tsukuba, uh, his target college. Uh, went to Fukuoka instead, was a dropout. He often borrowed money, drank, and went to prostitutes. In, ni- in April 19... 19- uh, 89, he moved to Hiroshima and ga- began work as a taxi driver. He married in 1991 and had a daughter in 1993, but his wife entered a mental hospital. Hidaka killed and robbed four women, ooh, between April and September two th- uh, 1996. One of his victims was a 16-year-old girl who engaged, who engaged, who, 16-year-old girl who engaged in Injo Kosai. He was arrested on September 21st, 1996. So apparently, Injo Kosai is a transactional relationship. It is the Japanese language term for the practice of an old, of older men giving money and or luxury goods to attract young women to their companionship or possibly for sexual favors. So the detail about KOing Peach four times without getting damaged, um, as Ganondorf makes a little bit of sense, uh, considering that he uh, murdered four women and was executed for that. But the rest of this just makes no goddamn sense whatsoever. Now, if you want to continue that conversation, you can pop over to my Discord, Dead Palettes Ashcan School, where we only have four text chat boards Ashcan Whore, Meme and Chat, Whore Analysis, and Pharmacy. You can support me by liking this video and following me on social media like Twitter and Tumblr. Links to everything down in the description. Thank you so much for your time, and now on to our sponsor at this non moment in time, which is Waluigi. Luigi. Waluigi. They're keeping him out of the game just to bug your otakuism.